Hello and welcome back here to the channel. We are staring at a VDC banner, the back of an RTR Fun Haver Mustang. So that can mean only one thing. We're here for another driver spotlight here on the channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at this RTR from Vakari. And this thing has a few tricks up its sleeve. So let's get to it. So before we start driving the car, we are going to take a look at the car. Once again, a big thank you to Vakari for giving me access to his Fanatec Fun Haver Nitto Tires Type S RTR Spec 5D Mustang here on a set of Corsa, his VDC comp car. So the car is definitely a very beautiful model. It is the Forza Motorsports model that was in the game that was brought over here into a set of Corsa. It's definitely a very cool livery. Vakari was part of TUS back when I was part of TUS. So I do know Vakari and this car has a lot of cool little features like when you turn the headlights off they dim out. He also did tell me that it obviously has underbodies which you know is a big thing for me. One of the coolest tricky things with this car. If you guys remember RTR did a Type S commercial with Vongen Jr. Chelsea Nova. They had all these Tron lights and everything on it. Well this car has Tron lights. I'm sorry. I haven't seen any other cars in the game that have Tron lights. I think it looks sweet. It's definitely a very cool feature to add to the car since they did have those on their Spec 5D comp cars. So definitely a very cool addition to this car and something that gives it that much more style. So we're going to turn the Tron lights off. So we're going to go full set on this car here at VDC to Scuba and then of course we're going to take it to Irwindale to finish this episode off. So enough chit chat. Let's, uh, let's, let's uh, have the car do the talking. So. We're going to warm up the tires here, but before we do that, we're going to get the wheel cam turned on for you guys. Alright, wheel cam's turned on. I think we're at like 80% power on this car, not a full 100%. We're going to see if we can't do some full pulls here at the scuba circuit in the spec 5d from vicari once again a big thank you to vicari for letting me get my hands on his rtr vdc car these driver spotlights definitely a lot of fun so if you guys have a car you guys want to see in the driver spotlight hit me up on discord or instagram let me know fourth gear flick here we go not oh, oh there we go a little thrill motion causing a little issue over that curb for me First off, first run, very impressed with how the car handles and how it reacts. The wheel does feel a little bit lighter than I would normally have on my cars, but, you know, that's just a testament to doing all of these special, you know, driver spotlight ups so you can drive everybody's cars and feel everybody's style and see if I can handle other people's style of driving. We're just going to rip this through this turn if we can. Oh yeah, this car... <laughs> Has so much steering lock right there, enough steering lock to save it, and the car is super bouncy, which the RTRs are known for the bouncing and the three wheel motion. I feel like we need to have the Tron lights on. I don't know about you, I think the Tron lights look sweet. It's definitely a great addition to the car, and you know, a good styling aspect for this car because, you know, I, I definitely appreciated that commercial. Not a big Mustang guy myself, but definitely have respect for the RTR. Spec 5D cars, these things are monsters when it comes to high power tracks. So hopefully Irwindale, we will be able to do that justice. Nice on that clip. There we go. Let's try not to cut the corner. Oh, this is a this is a pretty solid run, if I do say so myself. Oh, a little bit over the white line. We would have punted that clip but the first part of that course I feel like that was a pretty good run I want to take a look at that run in the replay because that was a, a pretty solid run so this run I feel was a pretty good solid run we're going to digress it here in the replay though the Tron lights definitely look sweet like I said can't get over that it's definitely a very awesome style so we threw it in, we initiated way before the initiation point, just a quick handbrake pull, about the second and third hash. Pretty good on that clip as well. Bop the 
third hash mark there all the way deep in that zone this zone a little bit deep and then we cut over just a little bit and would have punt that cone but a very solid run nonetheless i'm impressed all right vakari i see you with this car this car is a blast so we're gonna go try irwindale now all right so we are at irwindale we're gonna bump this up to full hundred percent boost power supercharger all of that all of the horsepowers are going to be coming out of this RTR here at Urbandale. And hopefully we can do a nice uh, bank run in the car. So like I said before, if you guys have a car for a pro series or amateur series in a set of course you want me to do a driver spotlight on, hit me up on Discord and or Instagram and we can make this happen. Definitely been having a lot of fun. There was a little bit of a gap, but we're bringing the driver spotlight cards back. And uh, we're just going to go full send. Oh yeah, 100% oh, it's got a lot of power. Kick it in. Oh, feather it. Okay, it wanted to come out of angle. I was being a little bit of a... A little bit of a... Not so heavy on the throttle. I should have been, but... Oh yeah, this car can definitely... Oh, that bump. So the car is super soft set up, and I do like how soft it is and it's very very nimble it snaps really quickly and pff, just ran the inner bank yeah i'm impressed this car for being a mustang and being so big this car definitely is an aggressive car to drive and it's a lot of fun so once again vicari thank you for letting me give hands on this car because we're gonna go see if we can't flick into this bank pretty hard Car's got the power and the angle. It's got angle to hold itself for days. Just flat footed, a little bit off throttle there. Almost over rotated on that transition, but. Yup. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would definitely drive this car again. This car is so aggressive and so fun. I thought we were gonna biff that. And this is just something. I mean, I've driven a few Mustangs in this game when I was competing in Bushido series, testing that car as well as Ron's car, but this car definitely has some very good handling characteristics, and I can definitely see why it is a VDC car, because VDC cars are usually pretty snappy, and this car definitely has the power to be snappy. Rookie brake pull entry there, nice and high on the bank, kind of floated off a little bit. This car, I'm impressed. A couple runs with this thing, and uh, I'm uh, not doing too bad. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Oh, I'm sorry, Bakari. Oh, as I say that, we go rip hard into the wall. So this car, like I said, is definitely a fun car. It's probably one of the more powerful cars when it comes to torque that I've tested here in these driver spotlights. So... And it's a car that's very well known in the FD world with the RTR team and Chelsea Nova and Bongen Jr. So, one final run here at Irwindale in this RTR. Let's see if we can't make it a good one. Ooh. I think I'm out of tires. Oh yeah, I think we're out of tires. This car, yeah, I think we, we do not have much grip. As you can see... We do not have much grip, but yeah, no grip. <laughs> we could just basically crab walk this car. We have toasted the tires, and there they go. I was not kidding when I said we had no grip. Those tires are done, though. And that's said, and it was done. So I think that'll do it here for this episode. Here on a set of course, make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all which is in the description box below. A big thank you to Vakari for letting me have access to this car. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Oh, those are done.